for Surefly to have its maiden voyage today. Super excited. We had a perfect takeoff. When it flies, it's exhilarating. I think for perspective, you need to know that this was FAA sanctioned. We have experimental airworthiness from the FAA. And to our knowledge, it's the first time it's happened. Yeah, baby! This is a piloted vehicle. Untethered, this is free flight. You'll notice these outriggers, we call them training wheels. They're just precautionary. This is a hybrid machine. And today in Cincinnati, we lift it off for the first time and uh, just a huge milestone for our company today. Yeah, and the comfort of the pilot inside, flying with one hand, you know, it's, it really is, it's, it's everything we'd hoped. It's a very nice aircraft. It's very well designed. It's cutting edge, state of the art. It's gonna be very safe. It's gonna be very reliable. You can see it has eight props, each directly attached to an electric motor. If one of those should fail, you can still land. Uh, it has a generator making the electricity for those motors, but if that generator should ever fail, you have five minutes of lithium battery to get down. If even all that should fail, we're going to have a ballistic parachute in there as well, bring the whole craft in. We've discovered there's a lot of short hop applications if you feel your craft is safe and easy to fly. What's neat to me about flying the Surefly is that I get to stand in front of this team because the people who built this thing and the people who designed this thing are some of the sharpest minds I have ever had the privilege of working with. I mean, they are really sharp people. And then there's the, the mechanical engineering, the electrical engineering, and the aerospace engineering. So it takes all those disciplines uh, to make it happen. The mechanics of flying this are completely different than any traditional helicopter or airplane. Pilot in this aircraft is gonna tell a computer through a fly-by-wire system, take me over there, and the computer is gonna figure out how to do that in a way that is safe and reliable and comfortable. It takes the way self-driving cars are making the highways safer, it takes that to aviation. For a craft like this, hovering is not much different than flying. So next step after we're, we'll hover maybe five feet, then 10 feet, and then eventually we can start to fly. We're gonna bring aviation to people who've never thought about aviation before. We are about to make history. 